Hey boys, what's good? Got a good one for you today. We're going to be looking at where to find mods and how to install them. And well, actually even one better, I'm going to show you all the ones that I recommend. But yeah, let's jump into this video, starting with downloading the dependencies that are required to get all of these mods working. So first of all, we're going to get the Dark Tide mod loader. And I'm going to be doing this um, while I'm talking to you. So forgive me if I stumble over myself, but the link will be in the description. Once you open it up, click manual when you see it and you'll start to download it. Now, it's only it's only like a 100 KB packet size. So you, you can just use the slow download. You don't need to pay to download any of these. They're all tiny. And once you do, it will give a five second call down, two, one, and it'll download instantly because it's a tiny file size. We'll open that up to get it ready. You'll see there's a couple of files in here. Now, as far as I can tell, all of these are safe. I've not had any issues. I've been running these mods for quite a while and so have a lot of other people. But a bit of user beware is uh, worth noting while using any mods because these are all third party. Now, once you've done that, add a swallow mouse proper water in. I don't know why. We'll go to our Steam library. We'll find Dark Tide. It's Warhammer. You have to search for W. I was looking up here for ages at the beginning of the video. It's Warhammer 40k Dark Tide. Right click, manage, browse local files. And that will take you straight to the file that we need to be in. You minimize Steam once you've done that. Now, next step. I'm not going to actually do it because I've already done it, but you take everything from the mod loader file and you copy and paste it in here and overwrite all of the original files. Now, it's always good practice to keep a copy of the original files just in case things go tits up. So do that if you want to, that I know 99.9% .9 of you won't, so don't worry about it. And then once you've done that, open the mods file in the Warhammer Dark Tide file and we can close this one over. And now we're pretty much ready to get started. Now, this might look a little complicated because it has all of the mods I've already installed in here, but I'm going to show you the process for installing everything that we need to. I'm trying to open YouTube for some reason. We're going to go back again. My mouth is watering like crazy. Uh, we are going to have all of the links in the description, so don't worry about having to find them on the website if you don't want to. But once you've done that, you're then going to download the Dark Tide mod framework and the animation offense before anything else because these are required to make the mods work again manual i'm going to just show you this if there is a requirement for a particular mod because there might be one that's not covered in this video it tells you all right so if it says you need the mod loader and you don't have it then go get it and uh, we're just going to download this and i'm going to show you the process again it's really simple you'll get the idea before the video's finished i'm almost certain and <laughs> maybe you won't maybe you will but um, now you can see we have the mod framework DMF. And what we do is we copy this into this mods file. Remember, it's in the mods file and you'll get that in there. And the same with the animation offense. That's another one that absolutely must be in there. Let me just close that because that's causing all kinds of confusion. All right, here we go. And we'll go back. And we'll pick a mod and I'll show you how to install this and then we can you know, kind of finalize the whole thing. So we're going to go for reroll until rarity. This is a fantastic mod. What this does is it actually allows you to just auto reroll until you hit the perk that you want. So good. So good. All right. And here, you know, it, it tells you the dependencies. I already have that downloaded because I've taught you to do it the right way. And we download it. It's going to give us the cooldown. And actually, you know what I'll do at the end of the video is I'll quickly describe what all of these mods do. So you actually, you know, you understand why I'm recommending them. That'll probably make a lot of sense as well for everybody. So here we go. We open the file. You can see it says reroll until rarity. We then pop that into here. I've already got it in there. And we're pretty close to being finished, to be honest. But there is a couple more steps. So next once we have our mods installed once we have all of our mods installed we then open this text document mod load order and what we do from here is we write all of the names of the mods in well any order that we want doesn't matter what you write them in but you write them exactly as the file name is so if it's chat block with a capital c and a capital b that's how you write it in there if there's underscores that's how you write it in there and then every time new mod new line new mod new line nothing else nothing extra nothing fancy and once we're done with that control s save the file close it and then go back one file like tier go back to the warhammer uh, file here and you'll see we have a file called toggle dark tide mods and this is the last step you open it 
Um, I may have just... No, I don't want to do that. So I actually have the mods on, so I don't want to disable them. It will ask you, do you want to enable mods? You say yes, and it will run. Split second, boom, done. Now, a quick pro tip is every single time there is a patch or a hot fix, it will most likely disable all of the mods. You want to come back in here and just run this file. Now, some mods may not work with a new version of the game. Most of them for the last couple of patches have, but some of them may not. Now, if you encounter some crashing, some bugs or something like that that are related to the mods, come in here, run this file, turn them off. The game should work fine, and then you'll need to go through a process of elimination to figure out which one is actually causing the issue if you want to continue using mods. It's, that's the nature of modding. Every now and then you have to do a little bit of work, but my God, is it worth it? So what I'm gonna do now is I'm actually gonna jump into the game, show you what the mods look like in game and talk a little bit about the ones that I've recommended because man, there are some really goddamn good ones in here. Now, when you actually log into the game for the first time, it will say like mods are enabled. That is a short indicator that they are up and running, but um, just click okay when that comes up. And once we get into the game, there is just, a, I think, one more step that we'll have to do in order to make sure they're all running properly. And uh, yeah, we're going to use this sexy ass Ogryn. There we go. You can tell this guy is ready for action. All right. Okay. So what am I doing? Muscle memory is kicking in. I'm going straight to the inventory. We go to mod options. This will appear in your menus. It wasn't there before. Now it is. You'll have toggle mods up here, which will allow you to turn on and off the mods individually from inside of the game and then everything from here allows you to sort of edit the way that certain mods work or how they ping you and stuff like that i've not touched any of this and they all work fine and what we have here are a couple of the mods that i'm using so we have reroll until rarity and this one is huge this will allow you to reroll perks automatically on weapons without having to actually interact with it beyond just the initial clicking. So you can see here, decide rarity tier four, great. Wait until decide perk means it will just go hog wild rolling until it hits it and it is fast as fuck boys. And then decide perk and every single perk in the game is here. Now it doesn't know what weapon you're going to be rolling for. So don't pick a perk that can't be rolled on that weapon or the one that you already have because it's just going to roll for infinite because it obviously can't get it. So yeah, you have to you have to know what you're going for here. This list isn't tailored to the weapon you're going to be re-rolling. You can put the max attempts here. 3000 is the max. I've never hit it, but the max I've hit is 500. You can even choose to mute Hadron, Hadron, sorry, Mummy Hadron. You can mute her stupid, wong, 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 you know, whatever it is. And uh, you can even use a keybind here to cancel it re-rolling if it is taking too long. Scoreboard, everybody knows this mod by now. This is a scoreboard. It's pretty detailed, a bit too detailed. You can choose what it tracks and what it doesn't. There's practically everything in here. Weak spot, damage dealt, attacks blocked, carrying supplies, ammo, coherency, efficiency, basically everything can be tracked it's far too much i've turned more than 50 percent of it off honestly i really don't feel like buttons operated it's an important thing to know but hey man i mean if somebody in pressing buttons then there you go uh you can track that and call them out for it but use it for personal performance don't use it to like hate on other people that's that's just not a good use of anybody's time Reveal Blessing, this is a fantastic mod that actually allows you to see what blessings are available for weapons when you use the re-bless option on Hadron here. So I'll just quickly show you so you can see what I mean. If I hit re-bless, usually all of these here blessings that I don't have are just empty squares. You can't see what they're supposed to be, but I can. Fantastic for knowing what weapons have on them without having to go to a third-party website and gives you an idea of what, you know, maybe yeah, maybe I want to go for these two, maybe I want to go for these two. And you start to theory craft a little bit. Really, really, really good. Also, you can see here the mod reroll until rarity. If I click this button, it's just going to start spamming rerolls like a lunatic until it hits what I want it to hit. The next mod, I don't even need to go into the mod options to show you, is basically exactly that, but for Brunt's Armory. So I can set it to buy all of these, well, whatever, like as many as these as it takes to hit a 380 or until my gold runs out. Quantity limit, you can see I've set to 100 and it will auto sell anything that's under 365. So if I want to mark three, for example, here, where's the mark three? There it is. My God, I'm blind. And then I click 
and it will start to buy them and i oh stop and then it will hopefully there's been a, a bit of a bug with this one recently where it's not auto selling the ones that are in the bottom and i don't think it, it didn't do it okay so you know sometimes the mods aren't perfect but it's certainly a lot easier than clicking buy one at a time you can save yourself a whole bunch of time with it now the next mod that we've downloaded is one that actually orders the mission menu by difficulty which is a big help if you're only looking to do a specific type of mission so you can see here all the damnations are down here easier ones are up there why they were the way they were before I mean, I could go on about let's Let's not make it that video, okay? We're not going to make it that video. And then finally, one mod that I'm not able to show you is the one that gives auto block on chat. A feature in Fermentide games that I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with. But when you press enter to talk, or if you open the menu, or if you alt tab, uh, which you can't tell that I'm doing, but I was doing there, then the game will automatically hold your block for you. It doesn't do it already. It doesn't it's weird that they've taken that feature out it was in the previous game but it's in this one massive help and yeah i mean it's just quality of life changes that make playing the game not as much a pain in the backside now i'm pretty sure i've not missed any mods ping monitor allows me to monitor my ping this is actually good because i play with americans quite a lot and i'm living in asia but yeah that's the ones that i recommend all of the links down in the description below again if you found this video helpful help me out get this video to more people hit that like button don't forget to subscribe and uh, let us know if there's any mods that, first of all, you just love the sounds off or if there's any mods that you're using that you think would be useful to add to this list. If so, I'll put them in the description with everybody else, with every other one that I've already put in there. And yeah, um, don't forget to check out the live stream six to seven hours from now. Depends when I wake up. And uh, yeah, Discord. Also, check out the Discord. Man, I'm forgetting everything today. Don't forget to also check out the Discord if you're not in that already. We're starting to get a few people in there. Uh, it's fun. It's fun interacting with you guys. It's a lot better than, you know, the YouTube comments. They didn't always come through. I don't see the replies. Yada, yada, yada. I could complain for days. I'm British after all. Uh, let's just get me off of this video. Anyways, hope you have a good one. Thanks for watching. Peace.